Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode here on IN Radio of Ken's Corner. Today, we are at Adepticon. Yes. And uh, I have Rob from Imperial Star Hello. Shop with me. Uh, I'm in Rob We Trust, and uh, I showed Ken something, and I want to show all of you guys. So we've got some new products. Uh, right uh, Before we get started into that, remember, we've been using all of uh, Rob's mats yes. on the channel for a variety of different things, including some of our Madness series uh, stuff with the 3x3s and the standard game 6x3. Great mats. Uh, but today, Rob, you've got something a little different to show us. That's right. So uh, something I run into a lot at tournaments is trying to move, you know, from table to table, especially here at Adepticon, you know, 115 plus people, uh, it can get really crowded. And you want to be able to take all your stuff in one go mm -hmm. and keep it in one piece by the time you get to your new table. Right. So I've got a ship and squadron support pack. These are special 3D printed trays uh, that can hold all of your defense tokens, your ship cards, just about everything you need. It makes playing the game a lot faster. Mm -hmm. uh, let's pull one of the squadron t uh, ones up too so that you can see size-wise what these look like sure. relative. So the squadron ones are a little smaller. Uh, they come in all the same colors. Uh, I've got a white one here, translucent blue, gold, a nice rebel red, um, and just about anything you think of. So uh, they will fit your squadron card. Uh, each uh, tray has a r recessed part of the panel. So with a tarot size card, you can press down on the side of the card, and that will allow you to flip it over. Uh, the same thing, you can just use your thumb with a hole in the bottom. So if you need to switch out your build, it makes it super easy. Defense tokens, you no need to claw, get your nails in there. Just press down on the side, and they'll flip over. Uh, your sh uh, ship speed dial fits it in, a, in its own container so it doesn't get moved around. Your, your dials, you have one spot where they go in loaded and another one where you can reveal them. So it keeps them organized. Um, you know, a lot of times people might put them out on the play area, you know, they get mixed around. So I feel like this kind of keeps it all sped up when it's time to refresh everything. Same thing for tokens. If you're like me and you put them on the ship bases, it makes it super easy. Some people keep them near the cards, and it can be kind of hard when things get moved around to see what token was on, on what ship. So I wanted to make sure that there were recessed panels there for that, too. Well, that's definitely a, uh, a good design there, Rob. I'm kind of enjoying the look of this. Um, let's take a look at one of the squadron ones as well. Right. So squadron here, I've just got Nora as an example. So I'm just going to show this to everyone. And uh, we've got a few extras to go on here. So. We've got our two defense tokens, right? Her braces flip over just like anybody else's. Same thing with the ship card. This one, you, if you want to switch out your squadrons, you're testing a new build, makes it super simple to flip out. And then this circle down at the bottom here is just big enough to fit one of your squadron bases. So that way, when you're moving around, you can kind of keep things together. I also have a version that doesn't have that little extra. So in case you want something with a little bit slimmer build, fits on the edge of the table, you can do that too. And just keep the squadron inside of the uh, ship tray. Mm -hmm. So I kind of built it with everything in mind. There's a lot of different ways that people play Armada, but we all have the same problem of needing to go from one spot to another. It takes up a lot of time when in a tournament setting, you know, time is very precious. Oh, especially here uh, where we've had worlds, there's only 15 minutes in most cases to move yeah. from table A to table B. And uh, if you have everything organized, this is a great system. Well, I'm glad you like it. Uh, and just some information for some of the people out there. Uh, you know, maybe you've had a bad experience with uh, something 3D printed melting in your car or, you know, getting crushed. Um, I have versions using PLA, which is the typical kind of plastic, and then a very premium uh, PETG. It's like a water bottle kind of plastic, and that definitely, definitely does not melt in your car. For me, where I'm from Texas, it's a big deal. So, uh, yeah, this is just some of the things I had in mind when I created this. I want to share that with everyone out there in the world, and uh, hopefully maybe you'll see them on Ion Radio soon. Definitely. So thank you very much, Rob, for coming by. We got a good look at uh, both of your new trays. So, Rob, if uh, people need to get a hold of yes. you, uh, what's a good website for them to go to so that uh, we can display it on the screen right sure. here? Sure. Uh, Imperialstar.shop. All right, great. Rob, thanks again uh, for coming by. Hey, Especially, anytime, we're, we're really busy here at Adepticon. Both you are, uh, we are, because you're playing in the tournament, I believe. Yes. So, uh, lots going on here. Check out our live streams for uh, Adepticon. And, of course, check out all of our series where you can see your mats in Absolutely. action. Uh, and uh, until next time, this is uh, Rob, I'm Ken, and you've been watching Ion Radio.